Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, right off the bat, those of you who are familiar with the channel know that we do a little bit of prepping and emergency preparedness and sort of things like that. Uh, check out all the videos, subscribe to uh, see information about EMPs, RMF, and uh, just general preparation. But anyway, we're gonna review just real quick this uh, GMC 320 plus Geiger counter. Um, it's made by GQ Electronics, and it's a very basic unit. It's got a link down there in the description um, below for this unit uh, from Amazon. So anyway, uh, I think I paid around 130 bucks for it right now. Prices are going to change, you know. But anyway, um, it, it's real simple to use. You just turn the power button on here, hold, press and hold it for a couple of seconds and it pops right up and it shows your background um, radiation and in this house here in uh, southwest Washington area I'm seeing about 15 to 22 CPM counts per minute and you can cycle through the different modes uh, just go ahead and push this button here you get CPM and then a couple of different uh, more technical measurements but CPM is the most basic easy one to use so that's what we're going to go with today anyway um, there are some menu buttons there's there's full instructions on this whole thing on how to operate it uh, they're downloadable off of their website and there's plenty of other youtubers out there that are making videos on this unit basically my intention today for you with this video is to be quick to the point and help you decide whether this is going to work for you. Uh, just looking around, you've got the charge port there. It's also a data port that you can plug it into your computer and upload history. You can uh, download the history, remove the history, reset it. You can do a factory reset. You can do a calibration. But we're not going to get in all, all of that. You can put rechargeable batteries here behind the uh, battery door. See that right there. And the actual sensor, the what they call the tube, is located at the bottom here underneath. And then down here they've got some slots that you can't really see in there, but the tube is located in that area. So if you're going to test something up close, um, you know, an item, you would place it over or underneath these slots. But in general, this thing's going to pick up environmental radiation so if you went outside after an you know a nuclear bomb went off or an EMP it would show you the environmental rating or level now if it gets above 50 then you should start thinking about getting out of the area but down below 50 I typically see on the map um, levels are around 15 to 20. Okay so me being who I am and wanting to make sure stuff works I bought the nuclear or the Geiger counter test card from uh, United Nuclear Scientific, and they're just down in, I think, Medford, somewhere in Southern Oregon. But uh, they've got a little spot of very low rated nuclear uh, organic type of uh, material. It's uranium, basically. But anyway, it's in this little blob behind the Amazon sticker. That's going to be uh, linked down. In, the description below but anyway let's show you what happens here so right now we're at about 20 we put this little test card nearby starts clicking a little bit more and so when I've tested this earlier it took about three to five minutes to reach peak but you can see it's going up pretty quick it's not instant so it takes a while and initially when I was testing I would get to 80 and then I'd get impatient and I'd go okay well What's wrong? Is this card weak? No, it's not. Uh, it is weak just because you want it to be safe. You don't want to have something in your house that's going to cause your hair to fall out or get cancer. But anyway, the proper way to really see the maximum is to put the tube right over the top of this thing. You can see it starts clicking. Gives you the warning above 100 CPM and it ramps up pretty quickly. Um, this takes on average three minutes or so for it to peak. 
And so we're gonna fast forward a little bit. All right, so placement of during the test is important um, on this card. Now I've had this sitting on here for several minutes. I didn't wanna bore you with watching it count up, but it took, it took about three or four minutes to get to this level. And I did talk to uh, the test card company, uh, United Nuclear, and they showed me a screenshot of about a thousand uh, when they used their test card with this particular unit. Now they're all different, but you want to place the tester with this end over the, the material. So, and it's real sensitive because that tube is right in there down along this area. And to get the best readings, it's got to be right over that yellow dot. So again, there's a link in the description with this Geiger counter and also the test card. And I've spoken with both companies about levels and you're going to get some variation. The higher level Geiger counter is going to show higher CPMs. And then this one is going to show a little bit lower. So it's, they're all calibrated differently. You pull it away a little bit and you may immediately see a reduction. And if we left it off for a while, probably a few minutes, it would get back down to normal levels. All right, so we've shown you the peak. Now we're gonna slowly take it away. And you can see it starts dropping down a little bit. It does take a few minutes to catch up. So we just set it aside. And actually, it, the proper way to to calm this thing down would be to just shut it off, set it aside away from the material and let it cool off and then come back later if you wanted to retest or, you know, do some calibration. So anyway, that's the, uh, the gist of it. Also, these things are sensitive to UV light. So if you were to put it, you know, outside in the sun or in a window seal, it's going to read a little higher than uh, it normally would. So you, you don't really want to be using this out in the sun. Uh, you won't get a real super accurate rating. See, now we're down to 31. But uh, the tube, you can kind of see it's shiny. It's in there. So anyway, now we're down to 25. Yeah, so it's going to stay a little higher because we've got it in the UV light. All right, so as I said, uh, continuing with our series on some prepping and emergency preparedness, this is just another video to help you along your way. Uh, know what others may not know and if you're safe or not. So please hit the subscribe button down below. Um, give it a like, follow the links in the description for the Geiger counter and also the test card. I've just validated that it does work, so um, that's it. Thanks for watching.